The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. Thank you for joining us tonight. Rush Week at the University of Alabama has ended on a bad note for an aspiring sorority girl. Grant Sykes is a transgender female, meaning she was born male. She had been documenting her recruitment journey online. Sykes has revealed that all 20 sorority chapters she wanted to join said held to the no to her. I ask tonight's panel where Sykes should go from here. So let's, let's talk about this uh, rejection for this transgender female. Your thoughts on that? My thoughts are it's a complicated one this time around because I feel like I, I looked into Grant's background and, and checked out Grant's profiles and things on social media. And I get the feeling that she's just recently started transition or this is relatively new to her. But I, I think Could there a lot be of some problems, reason for suspicion if it's so new and there's not paperwork, psychological exams and all of that, everything that you went through. Yes. Should there be some suspicion by females, uh, biological females, if he, if she wants to come into their sorority? I certainly think it's valid to question. Yes, it's valid. It's valid to question. It's not valid to discriminate solely based on that fact, mm -hmm. but it's valid to question, of course. Shanita, let's bring you in. Absolutely. You are a part of the uh, sorority as well. Is that something uh, you would be open to having a transgender female come into your sorority or should it be considered? Your thoughts? So first and foremost, I cannot and I do not speak on behalf of my sorority, which I will not name, but I am a proud active member of. But, you know, I, I just like Jamie, I did some research and it's almost as if Grant is searching for something. I read one of her quotes, I'm hopeful of a future where everyone is welcome for just being themselves everywhere. So I'd like to take that and tweak it just a little bit and turn it around. As a black woman with black four parents, we were not accepted, but we started our own organizations. NAACP, as well as many others, women's suffrage. So from all black male, inclusive male and female to the women's suffrage march, we started organizations um, where we could be included. Inclusivity is important, but I think that Grant should take this opportunity to start her own organization where she will feel included. She said she was searching for sisterhood. If she feels that these organizations that she tried to become a member of who were established and organized long before she was even born or myself for that matter. They have principles that they stand on, but nothing says that you can't start your own organization. So the thing is start your own organization. And there are many transgenders across the world I'm sure that will be excited that someone started an organization that includes them. And Shanita, if I'm not wrong, we have seen videos on social media where there have been Black transgenders or LGBTQ at HBCUs, and they've started their own organizations, not chartered, but... Started. And that's what I'm speaking of as it relates to Grant. We are accustomed to it because as black people, we've had to start a lot of things. We've had to start a lot of organizations. We've had to start from, as Drake said, started from the bottom, but we're here. I mean, it's, it's what we've had to do. And I don't see anything wrong with Grant taking a role such as that. If it's so important to him, or to her, excuse me, if it's so important to her, then start your own organization. Tegan, and what do you think about that as a, a member, former member of a sorority? Uh, back then, would you have allowed a transgender female? Would you felt would you have felt comfortable with a transgender female in your organization? Uh, I wouldn't have had a problem whatsoever. Um, I think a huge thing 
with sororities and those type of organizations, they do try to preach about being inclusive and whatnot. So I do think it's very sad um, to see that happen. I do understand where people can be a little guarded and a little um, nervous about it, but I think overall it should be about being inclusive to everybody. Um, it shouldn't be an exclusive organization where certain people aren't allowed. I think it leaves out a huge chunk of people who could bring really good things to the table. And just for the record, you left your sorority. You said it's just it just wasn't for you. Yes. Um, I don't have anything bad to say um, about my sorority. Uh, I met my lifelong friends um, in it. And we did a lot of good for the community. It just wasn't for me. Got it. And Jamie, when you hear Shanita say uh, Grant should take the initiative now and create her own organization, would that be a bad idea? That was actually suggested to me by a friend of mine who I was discussing this subject with. And my only response to that would be, I don't know if there are enough transgender college students to even make that a viable option at this point. Unfortunately, a lot of young trans women still end up in the sex industry and don't even make it to college. Mm -hmm. So the few that do make it to college, I feel like I, I'm not sure that there's enough of them to, to put together a cohesive group to make any sort of meaningful statement, you know? And, and we don't, we don't go into transition to be our own separate group all by ourselves. We go into transition because we're women and we want to be with other women and we want to socialize with them and have sisterhood. And, you know, to take those things away and say separatism, well, that's, that's, that's just avoiding getting to know one another, in my opinion. And Shanita, really quick, what would be your response to that? Obviously, Blacks and African Americans, you know, we were forced to do that. Uh, different a different day, different era now. Uh, what about what Jamie's saying? You know, um, I respect Jamie's opinion, um, but I really don't have an opinion on that. I've stated how I feel about that. I stand by that. Um, the bottom line is when you don't feel included we've always taken the initiative to start our own. So that um, I don't know anything about the sororities that Grant was attempting to become a part of, but there were 20 tries, uh, at least articulated by Jamie, uh, by uh, Grant. So for whatever reason, their principles, uh, whatever their reasons were for not accepting Grant, they only know that, and Grant may know that. I don't know. I don't. I wasn't privy to that information. Right, and even Jamie said she she was concerned about you know his true motive, her true motive right. in this situation. But that's all the time we have. We want to thank you all for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored. Always good to see you all. Interesting conversation there.